On this Halloween, Fox's hit show Empire will be a treat for many fans. However, a local actor says it's been a trick, saying he has proof the show was stolen from him by producer-director Lee Daniels. WFMZ's Bo Colt now has his story. Court awards full custody. Fox's hit show Empire follows a Philadelphia-born music exec who must decide which offspring will head his record label after he dies of ALS. It's the same idea. Philadelphia-based actor Clayton Prince copyrighted in 2005. I had specifically that the baby uh, mama is always trying to use the adult children to take 50% of the company, very specific. In 2008, he pitched the idea at the Greater Philadelphia Film Office, where he met with acclaimed writer, producer, and director Lee Daniels. He said, oh my God, this is brilliant. Who else knows about this? I thought that was a mad question. Prince says the two met for an hour. And this email from the film office confirms the meeting. But after not hearing from Daniels, Prince self-funded a mini version of Cream in 2010. And then five years later, he saw his idea, now called Empire on Fox, with Daniels as a show creator. As a matter of fact, Prince has sued Daniels, Fox, and the Greater Philadelphia Film Office. All I'm asking for is a day in court for Jared, my peers, to say, is this the same or is it not? But Prince's case has been tossed from a Third Circuit court. Daniel's attorney says the case has been decided and it's over. However, Prince's attorney, Mary Beth Brogan, says the court denied his right to a jury and didn't allow for discovery or expert testimony. They're appealing to the Supreme Court. Individuals who get copyrights that spent the time, energy, and money to get that copyright, they want that. They want to be able to know that that's going to be enforced in the courts. Prince now carries a five-stone biblical homage to David and Goliath. He says this is a case of influence over evidence. Whenever you know that you're right about something, I don't care how many people are up against you, you fight. Bo Colt now, 69 News.